Well, howdy there, folks. Thanks for checking out my video. This is your host, ID Jester. Once again, we're going to be looking at a baseball simulation game here called Baseball Mogul 2016 Edition. I believe this is the 19th edition um, of this Baseball Mogul game, and I've gone through quite a storied history here. Each edition keeps getting better and better, and thought I'd just uh, spend a little bit of time going over what it can do. Uh, each different baseball simulation has their own kind of niche, what it does really, really well. And uh, Baseball Mogul uh, does some things really, really different. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you guys some of that stuff. So if you want to find out more about this game, you can go to the Baseball Mogul website and uh, check it out. Uh, one of the uh, things it does really well here is um, gives you lots of different options to uh, play things. As you can see, we can start a new game, resume a previous saved game, or go to the forums, check for free updates. If we actually start a new baseball mogul game, it actually comes up with a bunch of stuff. So you can take control of your favorite team on opening day of 2016 for the current season. You can actually start a league from any season from 1901 up to 2015. So you can go in and play any season. Uh, you can create your own fictional leagues. You can build expansion teams. And you can also load databases, uh, create new leagues, build different leagues, and uh, all-star, all-time greats. Uh, but if we just go in and uh, start a new one, let's go ahead and uh, click on create a uh, custom history here so we can go back to go all the way back to 1905, 1901, 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s. In this case let's just go back to uh, let's say 1999 and uh, play the 1999 season and uh, see how we can do. So as this uh, loads up you can see it has a little ticker down here at the bottom different quotes and things that happened in baseball and you know kind of uh, questions and answers and I don't know just interesting little tidbits there it's kind of a nice little touch as you're loading the uh, screen you can actually read about different things here so you see 1999 you can play any one of these teams of course you know we can play the Montreal Expos and you live the glory days of the Expos if you wanted to. I think what we're going to do is just uh, choose... I don't know. Let's choose somebody I don't normally ever play. Um, who would be a good choice? Um, let's look at the Pirates. Sure, let's look at the Pirates. So we do that. You can see um, gives you some information about the payroll, stadium capacity, fan loyalty, fan growth. Uh, tells you what they did in the 1998 season. They were 69 and 93. They were six in the National League Central. Uh, shows you some of their best players, some of their best prospects. Let's just go ahead and start a 1999 season up doesn't take very long to do that so as I mentioned you know each sports simulation out there kind of has their own niche of people that are trying to get in, invested in their series um, you know for the 30 or 40 dollars this thing costs there's a lot a lot of stuff inside of it you get all of the different seasons you can play all of them with all the real players all the real stats so right there's a a big boon for baseball mogul um, but you can see there's lots of other things here there's all kinds of if you want to set up your own leagues and all just tons and tons of different options there um, you can has the calendars you can click on any of the teams and check out their calendars I mean a lot of this stuff I'm going over <clears throat> Uh, you know, it's kind of just, uh, you know, kind of uh, stuff that a lot of the other baseball simulation games have, obviously. 
your calendar, your stats. There's finances here. You can check out your different finances, uh, how much your uh, payroll is, how much you have uh, to spend. You can sign free agents. You can uh, draft. You can do, oh, I mean, just tons and tons of different stuff. You can set up your lineups. So let's say, um, oops, let's go back to the Pirates here. Um, Pittsburgh, there we go. Um, so you can see the farm system, how much money you're going to put into that, how much money into scouting and your medical staff. Uh, if we wanted to go in to set up our lineup, so for the Pirates, we can do that. We can decide who's going to be our number one pitcher, our number one um, pitcher, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, our bench players, our minor league players. Um, you can do with without a DH, with the DH. You can set up different lineups for that. So if you didn't want to simulate the games, but you wanted to have some uh, input on who's actually going to be playing in certain situations, you can do that. So lots of different options there. Defensively, again, it's kind of the same thing. Who's going to be your starting uh, players? Who's What players are going to be on the bench if you're going to call certain people up, demote people, uh, if somebody gets injured? All kinds of different options there. Uh, so I'm not going to make any crazy changes here. Let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, some more interesting things. It's got a depth chart here, so you can kind of analyze your different players, figure out uh, how often to use them, uh, what position to use them in. You can see several of them might be listed in different positions uh, with different stats. I think the stats go from... I believe it's 20 to 100. So obviously the higher the stat, the better they are uh, at that position. Uh, if you want to find out more information about anybody, we could just click on them. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, Al Martin here in that field. We can click on him, find out all the information. He's 31 years old back in 1999. A season, bats left, throws left. How much money he's making. He's a uh, signed until 2000 where he becomes a free agent. Here's all of his different um, statistics. 72 overall, 76 contact, 73 power, 72 gap. Eye power is 70, a speed of 89. Peak of 72, arm 69, range 66, fielding 64, bunning 69, health 81. And you can find out all of his actual real-life statistics here. So in 1998, played for Pittsburgh, um, had a, played in 125 games, had 448 bats, 57 runs, 105 hits, uh, 15 second base, two third bases, 12 home runs, 47 RBIs. His average, all the information you want to find out about players. Again, you just can click on any of them, find out about your pitchers here, find out what their overall stats are going to be. Curveball, fastball, 82, slider, 74, change, 67, curve, 62. Um, you can toggle on a personal catcher for this player. So if uh, certain catchers work better with certain pitchers, uh, you can uh, set that up. Lots of things I don't even, probably don't even know that's in this game that you can do. Because I spend a lot of time just replaying the games as opposed to uh, actually investing time in <coughs> lineups and budgets and front office stuff. I'm more of a manager, but if you are into front office um, manipulations of players and demoting and promoting and drafting and free agents and budgets and you can actually get into the budgets and adjust your ticket prices and uh, oh, ticket prices in 1999 are only $7.50 that's pretty good 
Um, you can get in and check out your concessions. How much is he going to charge for food? How much for drinks? To try and get you extra money so that you can uh, get better players, sign some of your good players. Uh, so that's a lot of budget stuff. You can get into the am amateur draft. You can look at free agents. Here's the list of all the different free agents positions they play, how much money they want, uh, their overall stats. So this doesn't look like anybody um, standing out very well there. They're all kind of 48s, which are pretty low. Um, so yep, you can uh, get into that. Obviously make trades throughout the season. Um, check out your defensive strategies. Oops. Let's click on the strategies here. So you can figure out how much do you want to hit and run. Do you want to do it more or less? Uh, how much should you sacrifice but uh, Running, how much? How many times should you try to steal, tag up, extra bases? So if you wanted to really fine tune your team but not really spend a lot of time uh, managing the game, you can do that and you have a lot of of options to make adjustments to your team. As I mentioned though, I'm kind of a more of a, a manager, so I enjoy the actually replaying the games and doing the managing part of that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, play a game. It does have a really good uh, interface. I do like the interface. Everything is, um, you know, you can, you're not squinting your eyes to try and figure out where things are color scheme and the graphics are very nice and crisp and clean. I do uh, think it's very manageable. We can go uh, to April here and we can just say uh, let's, uh, let's simulate up to uh, April 23rd when we go play a three game set in St. Louis. So I can click on that and it'll say do you want to simulate until this? Yes. Let's go ahead and just simulate the games. So of course it's going to do the uh, spring training games and it'll start with the regular season games. If anything interesting is happening in a game, it'll actually stop you and say, wait a second, the Cubs and Pirates are tied after seven and a half. Would you like to play the rest of this game? Sure, let's do it. So uh, jump right in there. Ooh, look at that, 10-10. After uh, seven and a half, and we have men on first and second with two outs. Um, so this is the interface. Obviously, here's the lineups for the different teams. Here's the Pirates and the Cubs. This is obviously the first game of the season here. Uh, it'll have the information about the pitcher and the batter. Or in this case, it'll be the batter and then the pitcher depending on if you're a home team or the away team. Of course, uh, you can make different adjustments based upon uh, the situation. Play your defense straight away, guard the lines, infield in, first base in, third base in, corners in, play the wheel play, the outfield in, intentional walk, whatever. Uh, if you're the actual batter, which we'll see here in the ninth inning, um, you'll make adjustments here to hit and run, steal bases, bunting, sacrificing, all that. So you have all those options in there. Obviously this is kind of the, what you see on the screen. You don't get to see the different players kind of moving around. The ball does move and shows you where it gets hit. Um, you can see the stats of the different players here, kind of a photograph. Down here's a nice little simulation of what's going on. Uh, up here in the top left-hand corner, you'll actually see balls and strikes being thrown. There's several different options you can play if you're uh, in this screen here and you're replaying a game. You can go to the manager screen and with the manager screen, each pitch will um, be simulated. in the manager it's uh, one pitch mode so it'll simulate the uh, whole at bat with one pitch so if it's a hit a strikeout walk whatever 
Uh, up here in the top left hand corner you'll see uh, all the different pitches uh, the locations or speeds what kind of pitch it was so that's the manager you can also go to the general manager if you want to I won't switch to general manager because if you go to the general manager you basically just sit back and let the computer run the game you're just up in the box watching thing very um, hands-offish uh, you don't get to make much choices of decisions uh, defensive or anything you're just in the box watching so if you wanted to watch your team play but you didn't want to have to worry about clicking on the pitch button all the time or you know making bench changes and position changes but you wanted to actually watch the game you could just switch to general manager if you want to be the manager of the team obviously manager makes it flow really quickly one pitch boom 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 you can get through a whole nine inning game probably 20 minutes or less another very interesting thing that uh, baseball mogul has is actually player mode if you go into the player mode you're actually simulating the player here and you're going to guess what kind of pitch it's going to be and what its location is going to be so if you think he's going to throw you a fastball and then you would throw the fastball to location now we're actually the pitcher in this case so we can choose. We want to throw a fastball and we want to throw it here. See if we'll swing at it. He does swing at it, so we got to strike one. Uh, I do have the volume turned down, I should mention, if we go to options here. I do have the crowd ambient volume turned all the way off because I find that to be a little bit annoying on my end. But I have the rest of the sound effects turned hopefully down enough for you guys here. Uh, if if you don't like those, you can come up here and obviously mute it. Um, but I'll leave it unmuted and see if that's uh, <coughs> if that's uh, not too loud. So now we're going to throw a uh, change up here, and we're going to throw a change up in the dirt, hopefully. And he didn't swing at it, so it's one and one. I throw a slider here. Strike two, excellent pitch there. I throw a sinker right there. Oh, you got to hold that one. And it's a single in the outfield, and a run's going to score over to third. And obviously, up here in the top right hand corner, it tells you what happened. Uh, Lance Johnson singled through the hole, scoring a run. Mickey Moriani singled this uh, center field, scoring a run. Mark Grace is at bat. Uh, we'll try this one more time here. Throw it up high. Maybe he'll strike here there. Sinker ball this time outside the zone. All right. Good, good. Fastball inside. Fastball high and inside. Oh, 2-2 two -two slider right there. 3-2. Slider right there, please. Oh. And we walked him. Base is loaded. So you can see, um, as the batter, you would do the same thing. You would say, I think he's going to throw a fastball, and you would choose the location. If the pitch comes in there, your batter will swing at it. And obviously, if you choose the right pitch in the right location, uh, you have a much better chance of uh, getting a hit, obviously. Right now, I'm just going to switch back to manager and show you what that's like. I'm just going to simulate the whole at bat. You can see up here in the top right hand corner. I'm sorry, top left hand corner. First one was a slider, it was a foul ball. Then he threw up a changer, change, 77 miles an hour for ball, slider, ball, fastball, ball, ball, ball. Um, what do we have here? We've let a couple runs in here as I've been talking about things. That's not cool. Um, it's now 12 to 10. Let's see if we can uh, just get it out, please. I walked another run. All right, well, he's tired, so it's time to get him out of there. Uh, who do they got coming up? They got a lefty coming up. Let's see if we can get a lefty. This is one thing I really appreciate a lot of games. Uh, don't baseball simulations. This will actually show you who your closer is, your mineral reliever, your long reliever, um, 
because obviously, you know, back in the day, I don't remember exactly who did what, so I can actually see. Oh, okay, he was a he was a long reliever. He was a middle reliever. He was a closer. So we're going to replace him with uh, Solomon Torres. All right, Solomon. The game does come with photos for a lot of players. Not every player will have a photo, but it does come with a bunch. Uh-oh, catch it. Yeah, that's going to be caught. All right, so base is loaded. We got out of that. Um, we did give up a couple runs. We've got a new pitcher coming in. Looks like it's going to be uh, Jason Kendall. We have Rod Beck here. Rod Beck. Um, I'm sorry. Rod Beck's a pitcher. We're down here. We're the batter. Uh, that's what happens when they get thrown in the middle of the game here. Jason Kendall. Uh, Kendall is a righty. He's one for four. He has an RBI. He's got some pretty good stats. We're going to go ahead and leave him in there. Even though uh, it's a righty-righty matchup, which will obviously favor Rod Beck. But uh, hopefully, he can get us a hit. Nope. Line out to left field there. All right, well, Brian Giles comes up. we got a lefty-righty matchup. Oh, struck out. We're down to our last out here. Kevin Young. Come on, Kevin. That should be a base hit. Nope, it's caught. And the Cubs defeat the Pirates 13-10 in nine innings. So it'll continue. Um, continue uh, where we were at here. We were replaying to... Um, we'll simulate to, yeah, we're going to simulate to this, this game. There we go. And let's check our, oop, I was going to check out our record. Pirates are 7-9, and nine, Cardinals are 10-6. and six. Looks like we have uh, Pete Shorek, Shorek pitching today. He's a left-hander, 6.75 ERA, 14 strikeouts, one walk. He's uh no saves. One one I'm sorry, that's probably one one and lost two. Uh here's our starting lineups. Of course we can adjust them however you wanted. I click on a player, click on another player, swap them, and that player will come into this position. Uh you can move them up and down. So if we wanted to have uh let's see, let's have uh, Jason Kendall. Batting first, we just click on and move them up and down. Uh, you can show stats versus lefties versus righties. So there's our versus lefties here. Not much going on versus lefties so far versus righties. Uh, you could look at stats, ratings, or saber metrics. Uh, we'll just look at our stats here. Um, and versus both, just to get an idea how we're doing. Obviously, if you're doing a season replay, it's a little easier to figure out what players are doing because you're going to be playing a lot of the games. But we'll just go ahead and uh, say we're ready to go here. So Cardinals and Pirates. So we're at bat first. Ken Merker uh, patching today for the Cardinals. Jason Kendall, righty, lefty. Get in there. And that's in for a base hit right off the bat. So one thing we haven't really talked about or showed you, obviously I talked about it, but I hadn't showed you. We got a swing away, we can bunt for hit, sacrifice bunt, hit and run, steal second, delayed steal, hit and run. Uh, I'm sorry, run and hit. This is a little bit different than the hit and run. Uh, so lots of different things. Uh, offensive strategy, if you're going to be the manager, if you want to play the player, you want to have, you know, you can make changes on the fly. So if uh, an ultra important 
at bat comes up and you want to really manage it yourself you can do that so that's cool I do enjoy just um, <clears throat> I like the uh, the stadium view and you know the fact the ball moves and the, I, you know it would be nice if the players moved and if they had the player names on here I haven't figured out if I can get the player names on here but their stats are here um, and I like this little simulation down here the fact that it keeps track of all the pitches you know, it's kind of a little niche that uh, a lot of other games don't have out there. So it's definitely something to look at. Let's go ahead and uh, swing away. Oh, it's deep. It's a center, but it's caught. So uh, Al Martin lined out to center. <coughs> Looks like uh, Brian Giles is coming up. And he'll walk. So we've got a man on first and second one out. Kevin Young. Back up the middle. That should maybe score. Uh, occasionally what will come up is uh, we had that Kendall was at second. Uh, if there was a chance for him to come all the way around, there would be a little message that pops up and says, hey, do you want to send the runner home? Uh, this is a decision. Do you need to make it? It'll give you the uh, speed and distance and throwing and the different stats for the players and give you a base percentage chance that it'll be successful or unsuccessful doesn't happen all the time but uh, it happens you know a couple times a game important things so we got a uh, bases loaded one out we have uh, Brant Brown let's center fielder let's take a look at uh, Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to actually look at his stats here. Specifically, what I want to look at is his contact, because I'm thinking about doing a little hit and run here, but because uh, I'm trying to stay out of a double play. But if a, if a uh, batter doesn't have very good contact, that would be very bad. So I guess we'll just uh, swing away. And he strikes out. Maybe I should have hit the... Uh, all right, still bases loaded. Still nobody across, though. So uh, Ed Sprague here needs to uh, make a big play. And he hits to shortstop for the out. And the inning's over. Up come the Cardinals. Back to the pitcher for the out. Line out, one out. Struck him out. And that's the third for the out. So, I mean, you could just see in manager mode, one pitch per per uh, batter. Um, you know, that one inning took us maybe 30 seconds at most. So you can get games done pretty quickly. Obviously, it'll slow down. Uh, if When you get base runners, you need to change your strategy. Uh, a little bit of time swapping batters and pitchers in and out, but all in all, I think the game plays very, very fast. I, I like the fact that it actually tells you how far it's hit. So you get a home run, it goes 387 feet, you know, you know how far it went. That's not a home run, but it went 307 feet. And uh, that inning's over. That's into uh, center field there. Single. So we are going to um, straight away is fine for right now. Let's see. Oh, he's going to pop us up and hopefully get caught. Yep. So again, the, the outfielders don't move. It would be nice if they do, but Two outs, still man on first. And that should be a third out, and it is. Excellent. All right, still nothing, nothing after two here. Our Pirates are seven and nine in the season. We can find out, um, we can actually, uh, one thing, we can actually go in and change our uniform colors. 
So here's the home uniform, the away uniform, the alternate. Uh, you can come in and adjust all that. You can actually just click on random colors. Um, you can add pinstripes and all kinds of different things, but I'm just going to cancel out of that. Um, lots of different... Oh good, we got to walk again. Kendall's... Where is Kendall? Kendall's here, huh? I want to uh, ball, 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 ball. So four balls. Can I fall in there? It did fall in for a single. Kendall made it all the way around to third. There we go. Martin's at first. I might actually. Um, you see some more options here because we've got two men on base now. We can actually try double steal or delayed steal. But uh, I'm going to steal a second here. Martin's pretty fast. So we're going to take this pitch and see if he can make it over there. And Martin gets in there. Stolen base. That's a good manager move now. If we can get a base hit by uh, Brian Giles. We can have us a... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's down the line. That's a good... That's a good ball there, and because uh, that guy stole, we now have two runs in instead of one. Another base hit. Oh, oh, an error here. Uh, single through the right. Brian Giles advanced on the error by Willie McGee. So Willie McGee, a uh, right fielder, made an error. <coughs> Let Brian Giles get over to third base. Who's up? Um, left fielder. Hmm. So he is uh, 1999 versus Merker. 0 for 3, 1 base on balls and 1 strikeout. We only have 0 outs, so... Oh, no, not back to the pitcher. So, grounded back to the pitcher, scoring a run. Uh, so, the run scored, but he got thrown out at first. I think he threw the guy out a second, actually. Um, yep, threw out the man that was on first to go into second there. Advanced on an error. Yep. Uh, ground back to the pitcher. Scoring a run. Ed Sprague is at bat. Okay, Ed. Let's see what you can do, buddy. And that's going to fall in for a base hit. And man, the uh, Pirates are just a hitting machine right now. Ken Mercury is getting roughed up here. So uh, you can see his stats, and I'm not even sure exactly what all this means, but it looks like. His change up is actually plus 10, but his curveball is minus 5 right now. Means uh, probably got a few hits off his curveball. Again, I'm not 100% sure about what all that means. Down to third base, uh, but thrown out at first. So three runs, four hits, one error, one left on base. Stubby clap. Is <laughs> Stubby clap is up to bat. That's awesome. So, uh, yep, we can uh, fast forward here. You can just click this button. It'll just go through the half innings. Boom, boom, boom. Every one of these. You can go through. Each, this one will simulate batter. This one will simulate the inning. It's now five to nothing. You can just go right to the end of the game. Let's go uh, simulate here. It's six to nothing. And uh, we'll go ahead and bat from the ninth here. And that was a little weird. That was a fly out. Didn't actually see that. That one's hit, hit, hit deep, but not deep enough. Caught at the warning track. Back up the pitcher. Uh, and. 
Pete Sorek is tired. He does have a 6-1 to one lead. Can he go for the complete game? Let's try and see if he can do a whole strikeout one. Over to third, over to first. Two outs, last one, Pete. Can you get the complete game? Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it. And there it is. There you go. The Pittsburgh Pirates defeat the St. Louis Cardinals 6-1. to one. We go to um, 11, uh, 8 and 9. Yep, 8 and 9. Again, you can click on all the different teams, check out what they're doing, what their players are doing. You can go to uh, the leaderboard, check out the different uh, batting leaders, home run leaders, earn runs. You can check just um, American League, just the National League. Um, again, your depth chart, different transactions that have happened. Uh, you can simulate the playoffs if the playoffs were to happen right now. It'd be the Cardinals and the Pirates versus the Cubs and the Braves. Uh, the game does a really good job of fastly playing through. So if you wanted to just, you know, go to say um, uh, September 1st, let's we'll just simulate the last month of the season. It's just going to simulate all the way up to September 1st. And you can see we are uh, 10 games back and in fifth place here. Amateur draft occurs today, so choose amateur draft from the player menu to, avail to view av available. Uh, make your draft pick. Okay. Um, I haven't really messed with the uh, different drafting. Um, so I don't know much about that. I will just let the computer do that for me, September 1st. Yes. Yes, make all my picks for me. There you go. Look at all these picks. Look at that. That's crazy good. St. Louis took Jared Wells in the sixth round, 168th overall. Uh, let's look at our calendar here. So we're 13, 14 games back. All right. Jeez. All right. We'll just leave that. And I'll just leave the default line up there. Pirates at the Braves today at Turner Field. If I'd have played all the games, we'd be... Is that going to fall in? That is going to fall in. If I'm doing it for them, they do much better. Oh, oh, is it? Nope, nope. Not. Hit the opposite field for the outs. All right, well, that's kind of a oop, back up the middle there. Chiambi, he's not going to go anywhere. Double play ball. Grounded to second. Now Chipper Jones is up. Chipper Jones. Uh, that's a walk. That should be a double play ball right there. Force out the runner at second. Man, you guys uh, should have. Uh... Oh, how did you not catch that? Oh my God, I was going to say. How did he not catch that? Well, it was an error. So, double down the line. Two RBIs. Advanced by the error. Wow. That's a darn shame. And that's another run in there. So, let's just finish this. Simulate to the end. Braves 10, Pirates 5. Again, you can click on it. Find out the box score. All the information you want. So this game definitely has a lot going for it, that is for sure. Um, I do like the simulation mode. I do like the fact that it has a little uh, pitcher batter uh, interface going on there with 
has a different window than the um, the ballpark. It's got all the information, keeps track of it all. There's just a lot to do in this game if you wanted to simulate. And of course, the fact that it comes with tons and tons and tons and tons of games and seasons um, really makes this a good investment if you are a baseball replayer or if you're into building your team. I know you can actually play. You can play multiple seasons here. So I can play all the way up to uh, say, oh, I don't know. Let's just play all the way up to uh, 2035. Boom. So it's going to simulate multiple seasons without any intervention. Are you sure you want to do this? And you could say yes. So you can actually, I believe, go up to 100 years in the future. So you could really, <laughs> really, really get into some, some uh, building of a dynasty, sort of say. Anyways, this is Baseball Mogul 2016 edition. Uh, each edition, of course, they add new things and fine-tune it. And I think uh, every edition keeps getting better and better. So hopefully, uh, if you're interested, find out more information on their website. Hopefully this is a good in, in indication of uh, what you can and what baseball moguls kind of niche, <coughs> what it separates it from a lot of other uh, baseball simulation on the market. And uh, I can't uh, really, depends on what kind of uh, simulation you're looking for, but uh, for me, I think it works really really well thanks so much for watching everyone leave your thoughts and comments in the uh, comment section below and we'll see you next time thanks for watching